ladies and gentlemen, uh, today we're doing section 2-3. We're using deductive reasoning to verify conjectures, which in human terms means you're using logic to make a statement based on that logic. Make sense? Sure, why not? So, deductive reasoning, okay? We talked about inductive reasoning, and that's where we look at patterns, okay? That's where we look at patterns that occur repeatedly if it goes from 2 to 4 to 6. What's next? 8 and then 10. You look at what's happened to figure out what's going to happen. Deductive reasoning, you're going to use your logic based on facts to figure something out. This is probably the most relevant thing you'll ever use from any class you've ever learned in your entire life. And I'm not lying just because I'm a geometry teacher and I'm trying to be pious, okay? Because you really will use deductive reasoning, hopefully, because that means you'll make good decisions, okay? It's using knowledge that you know to make a conclusion, okay? To figure something out based on that conclusion. Like, let me write this down. I'm going to write, deductive reasoning is logic. Logic means that you use your brain to figure out what to do, okay? For example, say your name is DJ, and you date, DJ is dating a guy named Bob. And Bob is also dating a girl named Cassandra. Now, you could conclude that Bob has two girlfriends. Okay? How about this? If DJ knew about Cassandra, she would break up with him. DJ is still dating him. So you can conclude that DJ does not know about Cassandra. Oh no, this is getting tragic. All right, now let's look at a couple more examples. Um, here we go. I'm gonna use the book for this. It says, at Bell High School, students must take biology before they take chemistry. So they gotta take biology, then chemistry. Sam is in chemistry. So Marcy concludes what? Okay, at this school, you have to take biology before you take chemistry. Now, what's his name? I don't know, Mark. Sam. Sam is taking chemistry, so therefore we can figure out that what? He's already taken biology. Oh my goodness, y'all are geniuses. You're a genius. You're a genius. You're really smart. I like you, Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I do, for real. You're cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm serious. Shh, don't talk like that. Okay, here we go. A detective learns... Let's not do that one. Okay, we can talk about the law of detachment. Do you want to do that? Sure, I love the law of detachment. Okay, the law of detachment. That means... Okay? If P, which can represent any statement, if P something, then Q is something, and P is true, then guess what Q has to be? True, okay? It's saying that if P, then this, then that means that you're insinuating that this is true as well. Okay, like, uh, if, uh, if I'm wearing a salmon-colored shirt, then the Atlanta Braves are the best baseball team ever. Okay? This would be the P, is my salmon shirt. Is this salmon? Probably. We'll say yes. This is salmon. If that's true, then that means I'm insinuating that my conclusion was true, which would mean that the Braves are the best team of all time. Okay? Which may or may not be true, but at least we know they're better than the Yankees. <laughs> okay? Now... That works the same way the other way. If this first one's false, then the second one's false. That's what we're insinuating. That's the law of detachment, by the way. Law of detachment. Okay? Now, so if something is false, like if I say, you've heard somebody say, uh, if that boy has been to school, I'm a monkey's uncle. Okay? You're probably not a monkey's uncle because you're usually not biologically related to monkeys. Okay? Now, by saying that that's false, he's saying that that boy being the school is false. Does that make sense? So if two things are not true, it proves, like if one thing's not true, then it proves the other thing's not true. Like if I said, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. 
If today is mon okay, if today is Monday, then birds okay, no no no, I got I got I got a better one. If a bird is a dog, then today is Monday. Is a bird a dog? No. no. Then is today Monday? No. No. Does that make sense? If one's true, the other one's true. If one is false, the other one's false. That's some good learning right there. Chew on that for a while. All right, next one. Let's talk about the law of syllogism. Okay, that's fun to say. Everybody say it with me now. Syllogism. I know. It's like your birthday all over again. Law of syllogism. Okay? It means if P is to Q, like if something then is something, like we talked about earlier, and Q is to R, okay, then we can drop the middleman. Get out of here, Q. We don't need you anymore. Get out out of here. P is to R. Okay? Like if I said, if every this is this is I don't this is not true. I'm not saying this is true, so it's the first thing that came to my head, and here we go. If all bad drivers, if you're a bad driver, then you're a woman. Okay? Bad driver, then you're a woman. I don't say it was true. Okay? Now, if you're if you're a woman, then you wear a dress. Which is also might not be true. I don't know, you might like pants. Whatever, I don't care. Okay? Now, what we can do is if you're a bad driver, then you're a woman. If you're a woman, then you wear dresses. We can drop the middleman. We can cut that fool out and just say, if you're a bad driver, then you wear a dress. Okay? That's just an example. I'm not saying it's true. Send me an email if you don't like it. Alright? Here, let's try one. Uh, how about this one? If you fly from Texas to California, then you travel from the Central to Pacific time zone. If you travel from Central to Pacific time zone, then you gain two hours. Okay, so... If you'll notice, the second part of the first sentence is the exact same as the first part of the second sentence. We can just cut those fools out, throw them out, and then put the other two together. Which would mean that if you fly from Texas to California, then you gain two hours. Works for me. Works for you too. Alright, let's do one more example. Let's do a mathy example. How does that feel? It feels great. Alright? <laughs> Okay, that's inductive. Inductive, remember, is patterns. Deductive is logic. logic. Very good. Inductive is patterns. Deductive is logic. Usually you can tell because deductive, you're looking at facts. Okay, you're looking at something that you know is true. Inductive, you're looking at something that's happening continuously. Okay, and you're making a conclusion off that. Okay, I see no good examples, so I don't feel like I need to do this anymore. Is that okay with y'all? This sounds great. Bye-bye.